Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Tidbits. This time around we're going to talk once again about the GC video. Uh, if you don't know what GC video is, it's basically uh, this has been done by Badass Console. It is going to be a way to allow your Nintendo GameCube to basically uh, output through the HDMI outport. Uh, now, obviously... Well, the turnouts of the original announcement of GC Video was that there's heavy soldering and technical knowledge in order to pull this off. There's a lot of modification that had to be done to the system. There wasn't a price announced yet, but all that turned a lot of people off because a lot of people simply are overwhelmed, uh, not sure, you know, that they want to open up their console and do all that work. A lot of people simply want their console to be the way it is and plug something in that works like that. This is one of the things that, especially in recent years, because a lot of attention in recent years has been brought to the GameCube because a lot of people like me didn't have one when it came out. And I've got a hold of one, you know, recently. And there's a big game library for it of awesome games. And they don't want to go in and have to modify it. Well, the trailer they just released, which is really cool because it is an, it's Ninja Gaiden 8-bit NES style trailer with Ninja Gaiden and their graphics to match it to do these announcements is really cool. The first one, obviously, was, of course... The uh, very, you know, technical knowledge and soldering and, like, heavy modding of the console version. But then, when that got done, they had a second announcement, which was they will be releasing a plug-and-play version of GC Video, which basically uh, will simply slot into the digital AV slot in the back of the console, uh, doing the trickery it needs to do to do HDMI output to the TV. So this would be the option a lot of people, I think, would be very excited for, again, because of all these modifications to make HDMI work on consoles, most of them require heavy, heavy modification. In this case, it's not going to be a modification. It's just going to plug into the back. And it said, coming soon. So we're going to have to wait for more updates to see, you know, what the price will be. Is there a price difference between the, you know, heavy modification version and the plug and play version and when are they going to come out again i would prefer the plug and play if we're going to do it because that just simply plugs in and it works no reason to open up the console and do all this modification but some people like to do that again there are people who love to do that that's why this stuff exists there are people who love to do these kind of modifications but if you're a fan of the gamecube and want to play the original games on the console in HDMI on your new TV, this may be something to look into. Again, I know people are always going to bring up emulation, but there's something about playing the games on the original console. I am, don't get me wrong, I think emulation is great, especially to try out a really expensive game before you go buying it, because obviously the expensive games are extremely expensive, and you don't want to spend a lot of money if you don't like the game you're going to buy. And there are more and more options when it comes to, obviously, emulation consoles out there. The GameCube, not so much, but obviously a lot of the older stuff there is. And eventually GameCube will be one of them. It's just the eventual matter of time. So, what do you think about Badass Console doing this plug-and-play version? Are you excited for that one? Or are you excited for the heavy modification version? Again, I think there's a place for both. And hopefully, the plug-and-play version, when it comes out, again, it all depends on price. These things have to be in a reasonable level for people to want to spend the money to do this. But hopefully it's successful so the people who do mods say, you know what, we need to do plug and play because that's what people want. At least to me, plug and play draws more interest from people who wouldn't do modification. So anyway, what do you think about GC Video? Going to have the modded version and the plug and play version. Which one would you choose? Is it for you price point for the plug and play version? Or are you more of a modification person? For me, it'd be the plug and play, but again, it's about price, and hopefully we'll find out price and release details, details soon. Anyway, let me hear your guys' opinions like always. I'll make another video soon. Later, guys.